Oh boy. Ooh, welcome back folks, this is Truffles, and assuming the 1.17 update has not come out yet, this should be episode 20. Uh, that's pretty cool. So last episode, we uh, started work on the potion lab. Actually, was that last episode? No, 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 no. That was two episodes ago. Uh, last episode, we broke bedrock. We worked a little bit on another wart farm. And that's when I realized that uh, we are out of uh, red clay. Uh, yeah, red terracotta. So we're going to have to head into the mesa biome and get some of that. And here we are. And every time, I swear, I forget to bring the haste 2 beacon. All right, so we got like something like five stacks of terracotta there. I'll probably mine out some more, but while I was looking around... Oh my god, there's a bunch of guys after us. Uh, while I was looking around, I noticed that there is a uh, savannah village over there. And I don't think I've seen one of these things before, so let's go check that thing out. All right, so I've taken a look around, and it seems like all of these uh, buildings seem to serve the same basic functions as any other village. Although they've got a couple different buildings here. Let's see, this one has a... Uh, a brewing stand in it and I think there's another one with a brewing stand over here actually I'm not too sure so yeah they all seem to have uh, like the same base uh, professions I guess they just look radically different so that's pretty interesting I think it's uh, it's actually kind of inspiring seeing these uh, I don't know these different types of villages and stuff in the new uh, versions of the game but anyways uh, I'm gonna head back and I guess we'll see if I collected enough red terracotta All right, so that is all the walls done. Oh crap, what the heck? Yeah, so I put in all the terracotta and uh, we got the bamboo in place. But uh, of course, there's still a lot more work to do in this place, but we're not getting it done today. <laughs> there's a couple more things I want to do before we call it quits. Hey, that still works. And you know what else still works is uh, pre-recording episodes. Okay, that's not really going too well. Uh, if I sound totally different now, that's because it's now two months into the future. Amazing how uh, how that works, right? So yeah, the last, uh, I don't know, five episodes were recorded all in one sitting, or two sittings. And uh, now it is two months later. I think we're only a couple of minutes into the episode so far. So yeah, I, I do have some uh, some extra stuff planned here. Let's get into the next part of uh, what I plan on doing. First of all, this guy is going to be in the way because we're going to be doing some major base expansion. As you'll notice, I've uh, been holding off on developing this area, but uh, I actually do have some pretty big plans for it here. So what I want to do is I want to dig all this place out and we're going to make what I... Oh boy, there's a cave down there what I'm going to call the dining hall. This is going to be the new location for uh, our super smelter. So it's not going to have any purpose. Like, obviously, you don't really need to sit down and eat in this game. But I kind of want it to look like a dining hall. So it has some kind of visual purpose to it as well as being a, a totally functional build. Aha, and this is the other reason why we need the dining hall so badly. So uh, obviously we have the cow farm, which I do actually plan on moving at some point because right now it's causing a bit of lag, but I've solved it by turning on entity distance. Anyway, um, we have all this beef and at some point I kind of want to automate production of beef. So the dining hall will become a new, not only a smelting system, but a, uh, a smoker system. So obviously they added smokers in I believe one point, what, 16? Something like that. One of the recent updates to Minecraft added smokers, which smelt beef and other food items at double the speed. Now, if you're not familiar... Oh my god, there is a lot of fog. Okay, I gotta do something about that. Uh, so, if you're not familiar, we actually do kind of have a, uh, a smelting room here. That's this one. This is like... This is my super smelter right now. Ultimately, what I'd like to do, and I don't think I'll be doing this today, but... Uh, I don't even know if I'll be getting the super smoker uh, set up today, super smelter. But uh, I want to be able to sort between ores and food using an auto sorting machine and automatically sort them out to smokers, blast furnaces, and get that stuff smelted up at a ridiculous speed. But anyway, as you can probably see, I'm tearing out this floor because I actually want to replace everything in here. 
uh, with slabs. But uh, over here in our new smelting location, I'm going to sort of plot out what I want to have as a balcony up here and a stairwell, which will go down into our smelting room. I do want the ceilings to be just about as high as the ceilings everywhere else in the base, which is, I think, six blocks or four blocks with, with uh, two slabs on the top and bottom. So, uh, yeah, I'm just going to keep digging here and we'll see what kind of dimensions we end up with. Uh, huh. So, I actually mined the ground out from under this guy, so now he's going to be wandering around. Uh, oops. Shoot, I'll tell you what I can do is I'm going to build a little path for this guy to get up to those, um, those brewing stands and hopefully he'll be able to turn into a real villager. And I guess I'll do that. And he technically has a path now to get up to here. Oh, here he is. Is he going to go for it? Wait, what, where's he going? Oh, come on. What? Are you kidding? Okay. I can't believe how terrible the AI is on these guys. Oh my god, he's literally stuck. Oh. Okay, come on. Come on, guy. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, I can't believe how dumb the AI is on these. Villagers. Okay, now where are you going? Where are you going, bud? Are you seriously gonna... Wait, did he get it? He did! Amazing. He's now a... What is he? A cleric. And he's... Looks like we need to put in a floor here quick so he so he doesn't fall down like I did. Alright then, I guess we now have a villager on our hands. Uh, okay. Oh. So I mentioned that I want to use uh, birch for the floors, I think. I'm going to go with that first, and then we'll see how bad it looks. It's probably going to be pretty bad, but... Uh, oh well. But uh, yeah, just for now... Oh my god, I did it myself. <clears throat> just for now, I'm going to uh, put down some slabs so our villager guy doesn't keep falling down into the hole. Oh my god, I'm so bad at placing blocks in this game. Oh my god. And then it's back to digging, it looks like. Oops, almost got killed there. Okay, cool. So, you know when Netherite came out, everyone thought that the Netherite pick would be kind of like the hammer in Tinker's Construct. I'm not sure if anyone's uh, anyone's watching this has played that or <laughs> experienced Tinker's Construct hammers, but they are the best thing since fried eggs. Uh, they make clearing stuff out like this real easy work because they mine a 3x3 pad instead of one block at a time like regular picks do. All right, so that is, uh, I, I think that is the size I'm going for for our uh, new room. And I am beat. <laughs> I mean, I know that I'm not swinging a real pickaxe in real life, but uh, that is a pain nonetheless. I really do hope at some point we'll be able to get uh, a better beacon and we'll be able to move it over here. Anyway, I should stop complaining. Where is our villager? Wait, is our villager... Where did our villager go? Okay, uh... Our villager is gone. That was, uh... That was very quick. Man, it'd be super nice if, if that guy didn't... Blow up. Okay, so as you can see, I have installed our floor, and I also have installed this white border going around the outside. This will be kind of, uh... How we connect the design language from this area to the rest of the build. Design language, one of my Steve Jobs. So anyway, I want to uh, lay out the boundary for where we're going to be building this stuff. I'm going to just make sure I have enough blocks here. Uh, I think we want to have our floor jut out this way. I'm going to have six blocks, three, four, five, six, all lay out, and then it'll take a hard left. Oh yeah, it's the same dimensions as, uh, as what I plotted out before. That's cool. So I'll be installing this border, and then we'll figure out where to go from there. There we go. And uh, next is probably going to be the stairs. I do want to have at least a, a three wide here. Actually, let me go and grab some slabs so we can start laying out the uh, pillars. Ah, here we go. Perfect. And great, someone has started using some machine outside, so now it's uh, going to be pretty noisy in here. But anyway, uh, I want to put a pillar here, and I think I'm going to go for a three wide uh, pathway here. So what I want to do is have slabs coming down oh boy if i can grab that slabs coming down here at least two blocks something like this will probably work and then i'll have a little platform here which will be three wide oh that is awesome you can place blocks while you're inside the scaffolding like that yeah we'll have a three wide path here 
kind of like that. That's pretty good. And then from here on out, I think we will simply here. Let's just give it to this. I'll just bring this down stepwise. You know what? I think we can use scaffolding here, right? Hopefully we can. Oh boy. We can do something like this ish. Yeah. Then we can bring down our stairs, which I didn't plan very well. Here we go. This should work easy as cake. And then this will be our floor layer. Very cool. Now we've got stairs going from the top layer to the bottom layer. And uh, I probably mentioned this a billion times, but I want to have slabs on the floor here. I do not know if I'm going to use these uh, quartz slabs or if I'm going to use birch slabs for the floor. Maybe I'll stick to birch slabs and figure out how to do the transition from these stairs to the uh, birch slabs. But I don't know. After all, the base in the other room is actually smooth quartz on the floor. It is not birch slabs. I think the birch slabs will kind of be representing our main pathway between base locations, which I'll explain in a little bit. So I've been unsubtly hinting at uh, the fact that we're going to replace all of our grass exposed here with uh, our birch slabs. It's going to be kind of like if you can imagine the yellow brick, yellow slab road, yellow wood road, I guess. It's, it, I don't know. Uh, but the reason why I'm putting down yellow slabs here instead of quartz is because I actually want to dig a hole in the wall here. Let's just grab a shovel. So if you're unfamiliar with this location, which I'm sure pretty much anyone watching this is, <laughs> uh, we built this mountain to cover up our netherwort farm, which is over here. But I do want to make a modification to our mountain and kind of dig a hole this way. The netherwort farm will become exposed and we'll have to do something about this side of it, which is kind of ugly, but uh, I do have a plan for that, so don't worry. So essentially what we're going to end up with here is a an entrance into the mountain, kind of like there, and we'll be able to use this as another way to get into our base. Kind of a shame to tear all this because it was actually a lot of work building this thing, but uh, I think it's going to look pretty good and will serve a good purpose in the future. All right, so we got that entire mountain just torn out of here. Wow, that is uh, that is pretty serious. Kind of happens when you do tear down an entire mountain. Well, I mean, there's still half of it covering up the rest of the uh, uh, the Netherwort farm. Yeah, as you may or may not know, uh, everything we're standing on basically from here all the way down to the cow farm. The cows are kind of invisible because my settings are set like that. All the way over to, well, where we just tore out is still man-made mountain. So all this is artificial and we're currently on top of the Netherwart farm. But yeah, over here, I definitely do have a plan for this. Is I'm not going to leave it as uh, this stone. Uh, but we're not going to get to this today because uh, unfortunately, you know what time it is. We are out of time for uh, today's episode. But uh, let's just recap real quick So because I'm actually having a hard time remembering everything we did today or in the past couple months, actually. So... In this episode, we finished the walls in this place, I guess. Yeah, it looks done to me. Of course, we still have to do the end caps. Of course, this is this end, and uh, that end will be the same. I do plan on tearing out that side of the mountain there, and I'll be replacing it with some, some cool-looking windows. But we're going to have to do that uh, either next episode or... Let me check real quick. Yeah, that'll be next episode. Uh, I do have loads of plans next episode for getting the outsides of this place looking pretty good because right now it looks kind of like, well, it looks like that. So, I mean, it's kind of all right. It does look better now that we've added this quartz, but it's definitely not done. And uh, I do want to expand our birch road all over this place and replace out our, gra our grass. I do hope that you enjoyed this episode. I know it was a short one, but uh, that's going to be the name of the game as I don't really have very much time to record these episodes anymore. But uh, yeah, we're going to have to leave it here for today, so I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next episode. Take care. Bye-bye.